I like my dudes a little chunky, a little slim thick, a little baby fat. Bitch! Y'all like my highlight? <laughs> Crayon case. Let me tell you something. A diva, I'm a, I'm a, a diva, I'm a, I'm a, a diva, I'm a, I'm a, a diva. Hey divas, hey, your girl is back. I will do a dissertation as to why I have been so inconsistent. I'll talk about that in a different video. I don't want to make this intro long. Go ahead and thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are doing our q and I promise you, I promise you this Q&A will go up. So, I only have a few questions because not that many people ask me questions, and that's fine. Go ahead and get this shit started. Long story short, I used to get bullied a lot in school. And then when I kind of got older, I was like, I'm taking control of my life again. I'm not letting nobody run over me. So, I remixed Itty Bitty Piggy by Nicki Minaj. And I called it Lucy Woosy Goosey. So fucking stupid. But I dissed all of the bitches that used to bully me. Got into a lot of fights because of that and a lot of altercations because of that. But at that point in time, my hands had got real secure, so I started knocking hoes out. But rapping just started as an outlet for me to get my anger out, my frustrations, and all of my inner malice and put it on wax. <sighs> what influences me the most is knowing that there's little dark, chubby black girls that look like me who are looking forward to somebody like me giving them an opportunity to feel beautiful, feel resilient in the industry. We don't have a lot of representation as black women, let alone as dark women, let alone as big dark women. A lot of little girls that look just like that and I want them to know they can do anything and that they are beautiful and they don't have to compare themselves to what else is represented in the industry. And I want people to have confidence shade but that's okay because i got a mixtape called inconsistent which will be in the description below it's not an excuse but i've been in school and i've been trying to graduate and i didn't want to do bad in school and do great videos or do terrible videos and be great in school so i had to kind of tit for tat and make a priority inconsistency just not being motivated looking at the numbers and looking at how much feedback I'm getting, how many followers I'm getting, needing validation internally and being insecure about that, being insecure about the level I'm starting at is what also kind of fuels the inconsistency. I have to look past that and I am working internally to be able to be a more consistent person, especially with this YouTube thing, especially with my music, especially with my craft. And I'm always perfecting my craft. However, I need to take more ownership of my brand. I don't discriminate. I like them light bright. I like them dark chocolate. However, if anybody knows me, y'all know that I am a sucker for some dreads. I love hair on guys. I like beards, but I love me some dreads. And I like my dudes a little chunky, a little slim thick, a little baby fat. You know, I like fat niggas. I like big football built niggas. However, I don't discriminate. You know, I love whoever loves me. My ideal man would definitely be God-fearing. I love a man who is active in his community, whether it be for the LGBT community, for women, for black people, for Hispanics, for whatever, whatever he is in. I don't want him to be socially blind or choose to be socially blind. I need a person who walks the walk and talks the talk. I need somebody who has a purpose that's larger than themselves and their own self-interest. I like a man who is driven and doesn't make excuses. And I like a man that's smart I, and mentally stimulating. I don't like talking to a dud. Like, I'm not fixing to just sit up here and talk about fucking sports and Jordans with you 24-7. I want to know your goals. I want to know how you're mentally growing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also like a man that um, I can grow with. I don't want a perfect nigga. I don't want a dude that's just always trying to be on his P's and Q's. I want us, if we fuck up, I want us to hold each other accountable and grow together. I don't really care about looks that much, although your mouth needs to be straight because I'm not fucking with somebody with some badass dental problems. I don't need a nigga that look like he chew on fucking bricks and piano keys with mush mouth and funk ass breath. Your bodily hygiene, 
you gotta wash them nuts because I'm not fucking with a nigga that smell like the apocalypse. Not happening. Yes, I have had to make a more realistic depiction of what I'm gonna go for. I've had to humble myself in the fact that I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be famous in six minutes. I, I had to learn how to patiently be able to wait and trust in God throughout the process. I've had to focus and hone in on what I wanna focus on. Cause everybody knows I act, I rap, I battle, I sing, I do music, I write, I produce. But in my entities, I can do multiple things, but I need to focus on one thing at a time because when you scatter everything, you are the jack of all trades and the master of none. So you don't, I'd rather do one thing great than do six things half-assed. I have increased my purpose. I've noticed that a lot of stuff that I've wanted has been superficial. I've had to replace my values and my value system because I feel like a lot of the shit that I was wanting was so superficial and so selfish and internal. So I've had to expand my mind and understand that what I want and my influence that I'm gonna have is bigger than me and bigger than what I want. It's changed me. It's made me want to be more consistent. It's made me want to sharpen my tool and my craft more. It's caused me to be less lazy. All of the people who ask me questions, all of their social media will be in the bottom. Thank you so much for asking me questions. Thank you so much for your support. And know that there is so much more to come in 2019. No more inconsistency. Or maybe. <laughs> Bye divas. Ain't consistent, but I'm never gonna slow up. I ain't talk about Pepsi, but when I spit fire, bitches know that I burn mics. I get to smell when I would so good like a motherfucking termite. These shit don't say that. That's not buddy, like you sound like a whole slut. Hold up, I ain't talking Texas Roadhouse when I tell y'all that my motherfucking flow nuts.